it's Thomas here, and today a quick review on the Tunes Macroalgae Reactor. Haha! <laughs> I love this thing. If you want the easiest macroalgae reactor to harvest and maintain with less parts to fuss with, plus a lid that seats itself that can run both internally or externally, then you definitely need to check out the Tunes MAR. It's what you've been waiting for. Utilizing macroalgae like Kato for nutrient export is a well-known and popular way to control nutrients like nitrate and phosphate in our reefs while also lowering CO2 and raising pH. Not all of us have the designated space in our sump for refugium or even want to deal with the mess and maintenance that is synonymous with in-sump refugiums. Many reefers don't even have a sump and instead utilize all-in-one systems or standard aquariums, which is why the versatility of using an algae reactor has been steadily gaining in popularity. Tunes might not be the first to join the algae reactor game, but nevertheless, they've jumped in the ring with their MAR3181 algae reactor. Like the others, it uses specialized LED lighting and a DC controllable pump to grow algae and tune the amount of nutrient export to your exact needs. But Tunes did do things differently and in a very smart way. In the box, you'll find the Tunes MAR3181 algae reactor with pre-installed EcoChic LED refugium light, the Comline 2500 pump with Turbel basic pump controller, two 80-inch sections of silicone tubing, tubing anti-kink guard, tubing clamps, rubber o-ring, pump intake guard, and power adapters. Everything you need to get the MAR3181 up and running is included. Just add Kato, a basic timer for the light, and you're ready to go. Setup is simple, and the MAR can be used either externally or internally, depending on what fits your setup best. Before I get into the construction and little details of the reactor, like their very smart use of magnets, first let's talk about what makes this reactor so unique. Tunes designed the MAR to be the easiest to maintain and most energy efficient reactor possible, and they accomplished this by removing the need for trays, light tubes, or standpipes inside of the reactor, leaving all of that room for Kato growth and making harvesting the Kato super easy. Instead of running the lighting down the center of the reactor like others do, the MAR uses one light fixture on the outside of the reactor, which is waterproof, and then uses cyclonic water flow inside of the reactor to spin the Kato, which is pretty ingenious. The internal shape of the base allows the water to be pumped in on an angle to create that cyclonic flow, and not only does this ensure that the Kato is receiving ample light on all sides, but it also means less detritus buildup inside of the Kato and inside of the walls of the reactor. When it comes time to pull some Kato out, you just shut off the pump, open the lid, reach in, and rip some out. Not having trays and clips to remove or pipes to reseat really cuts down on the mess and effort required to harvest, which is a fantastic improvement over traditional designs and really takes the concept of an algae reactor to the next level. I am curious to see if the algae needs to be harvested more often to prevent it from growing enough to stop it from spinning, but given how easy it is to just open this thing up and rip out some Kato, I don't really see it being a big deal either way, just curious. As you'd expect from Tunes, the build quality is fantastic, and they've included some really nice touches that make operation of the reactor simple and easy long term. One of my personal favorite details on this reactor is the magnetic assist on the lid. Both the body and the lid of the reactor have hidden internal magnets that create a positive click or grab that you can feel as the lid is turned into place. This magnetic assist will help seat the lid perfectly in place and prevent accidental leaks. Not having to fight with a tricky o-ring or lid after harvesting is really refreshing. The thumb screws on the top of the reactor are also a breeze to turn. Much easier than the standard nylon screws I'm used to working with, which is also something I can really appreciate. The bracket that holds the LED light bar to the reactor and the bar block on the lid are both made using high quality 3D printing, which was a really cool surprise. The light bar that's included is none other than the popular Tunes EcoChic Refugium LED light with a spectrum geared specifically for growing green algae like Kato. It's completely waterproof, which means you can safely run the reactor internally even though the light is on the outside. And at 9 watts, it's one of the lowest energy lighting options for algae reactors. And to control the light schedule, you can go ahead and just use a simple digital timer. Just a few bucks. The Comline 2500 DC pump and Turbel controller tunes includes with the reactor allows for fine adjustment of nutrient export by increasing or decreasing the flow through the reactor so you can match it to the needs of your reef. Which is important because not everybody wants to run an ultra low nutrient system and as we've seen in the past, sometimes Kato can work a little bit too well. 
Compared to a Skims MBR157, which is rated similarly at 180 gallons, the Tunes is six inches shorter and the lack of internal components to remove during harvesting makes it a very friendly reactor for short stands or other areas with little vertical space. One of the most common questions I see being asked is how a Kater reactor like this one compares to an algae turf scrubber, or whether or not you still need to use a protein skimmer if you're using algae as your main form of filtration. To help answer questions like those and more, check out our Refugium playlist right here. All kinds of great stuff in there, like what not to do, how to avoid the most common mistakes with a Refugium, that's pretty important. How well does Kato actually perform with nutrient removal, depending on what kind of light you're using? All of the best things are in there. I've literally watched every single video in that playlist.